So I'm kind of a believer in this Rust-Oleum paint that comes with the funky lid here. Uh, it's more expensive, but I find that a lot of times I'll be trying to paint something, the paint won't stick to it, and this will. Um, I tried a little bit of that kind of paint on this wheel this morning. Yesterday I put that rubber coating on these wheels, and this morning I just squirted a little spot with... It's that same kind of paint, it just happened that that one was black. And I think it held up pretty good on there. So what I'm going to do is retape this whole wheel and paint it that silver color using that paint. Uh, yeah. I thought about, you know, not using the, uh, the rubberized paint and just spraying something like that on there. But that is an aluminum wheel with some kind of coated chrome that is peeling off in spots and it's hard to I, I spent a lot of time grinding it sanding it rubbing on it uh had a hard time really hard time trying to get it all off of there so uh, i'm hoping that by putting the that rubberized plastic they call it plastic dip on there that will keep everything from going away and then i can hopefully just put a can a coat of that silver paint in there and we'll, all will be well. Uh, I'm going to give it a try. Well, the other thing about using this plastic paint stuff is that it's rubberized and you can peel it off. If it should fail and I need to peel it off, maybe it'll pull off some of that stuck-on chrome stuff. So I guess it's going to be a win-win either way. It just depends on how much work I have to do to make it be good. I'm going to set y'all up here in my little camera stand thing but i might not even film this because all i'm going to be doing is taping that wheel up so i might tape it up and then come back and film this let's do that okay let's see what we can do with this paint stuff oh the joy hmm. one other thing i like about this paint is that it sprays upside down just fine I'm gonna walk away and let it sit. Oh, I see some spots. I start to walk away and let it drop, then I got to thinking, well, if there were any places where the paint came through the tape and got on the wheel where it shouldn't have, it's pretty easy to clean up when it's wet, but when this paint's dry, it's very hard to remove. Maybe I should just for just to make sure. Just going to peel it off. Any touch up I need to do later, I think I could probably do with a brush. That looks pretty good. I'll take the stuff off the other one, but I'll bring it over here and let you look down into there. I can live with that if it'll all stay put and not crumple up when I try to put the bolts in it. Guess we'll see what happens. I'll uh, pull the tape off this other one. Camera equipment is pretty fun. I've got a bunch of it in there that I'm going to be sorting through and selling off. Uh, I think later today I've got. Uh, I used to have enough camera equipment where I walked around with a big duffel bag every time I went somewhere. Now, at least I got that DJI, I think it and a good GoPro is about all I need. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is uh, go through all my old camera equipment. Some of it's still quite good. And then I'll just toss it all out on eBay and let anybody who wants it have it. That's a good deal. You know, it don't get to be better if you keep it. You keep electronic equipment thinking, well, it's it's nice, it's good stuff. Yeah, you keep it 10 years. It's worth even less than it was when you thought about getting rid of it. So, it doesn't make sense to keep it. If you don't need it and you're not going to use it, get rid of it. That's my thinking. That's what I'm thinking. It looks pretty good. Yeah, the hammered finish, that, that paint was that hammered finish, and the hammered finish helps to hide a lot of the stuff that's on that wheel. That was a good thing to do. 
I believe I made the right decision on that. The best thing to do now, I believe, just walk away from it and give it time to uh, to dry. One good thing about that stuff, it dries really quickly. So uh, I'll go in the house and sort out camera equipment and then come back later. And if those are good and hard, we'll put them back on the put them back on the hot rod. Oh, the joy!